iLogic helps you create rules-based models. The rules are embedded as objects in your part, assembly, and drawing documents. You can use standard inventor parameter names in rules as Visual Basic variables. When you run the rule, the value of the parameter is assigned to the variable. Open the iLogic Basics Parameters part in the Chapter 25 folder of the workspace. Please note that all inventor parameters are case sensitive and do not contain spaces. If the parameters panel is not on your ribbon, right click the ribbon and under Panel Flyout select Parameters. Click Parameters in the Parameters panel on the ribbon. Notice that this part already has a large number of defined parameters. This is core to the concept of using iLogic. Since you are defining rules for your part, having variable names with meaning makes the entire process easier. Minimize the model parameters and click the Add Numeric button. A new row in the parameter list is created. In the Parameters Name cell, type Mass. Press Tab and press the space or select the Unit Type cell and the Unit Type dialog box appears. Expand Mass, select Pound Mass, and click OK. Select the Equation cell, type the value of 100, and select the Key checkbox in the Key column. You have now created your first numeric parameter to be used in an iLogic rule. Click the Add Numeric drop-down and select Add Text. A new row in the Parameters list is created. In the Parameter Name cell, type the value Holes. Notice the Unit Type cell is grayed out and has a value of text. Right-click any cell in the Holes row and select Make Multivalue. This enables you to create a list to limit the values available for this variable. The Value List Editor dialog box appears. In the Add New Items area, type Base, then press the Enter key. Type Flange, then press the Enter key. Type None, then click the Add button. Notice that the values have been added to the Value List and click OK. In the Equation cell of the Holes row, notice there is a pull-down list. Change the value from Base to Flange. Select the Key checkbox in the Key column. We need to create a logic variable, also known as a True-False variable. Click the Add Numeric drop-down and select Add True-False. A new row in the Parameter list is created, and in the Parameter Name cell, type the value Empty. Notice the Unit Type cell is grayed out and has a value of True-False. Select the Equation cell and notice that it is a pull-down with the values of True or False. Select True and select the Key checkbox in the Key column. Click the Done button. For a numeric parameter, the value is a real number expressed in document units specified in the document settings. Text parameters become string variables in the rule. True-False parameters become Boolean variables.